Bo Mirasini makes his directorial feature debut in Shudder's latest original, History of Evil, hitting their platform on February 23rd. A big thank you to the awesome folks at Shudder once again for sending me an early screener to check this one out. However, you've probably seen the thumbnail, so let's get straight into why I was not a fan of this movie. Hello everyone, lovers of movies and anyone who's interested in shudder movies and horror movies for that matter. My name is Mike, welcome to the channel if you're brand new here or if you're returning, thank you for coming back once again. So when I got sent the screener for History of Evil, I only saw the poster and the synopsis and that's kind of about it. If you don't know anything about this, I'll just tell you the quick kind of premise. It centers on a family that go on the run from a corrupt state to a safe house, but little do they know that it has an evil past. Now this does star kind of big TV stars for that matter, who is Paul Wesley and Jackie Cruz. Jackie Cruz is known for Orange is the New Black, never seen that show, and Paul Wesley is known mainly for the Vampire Diaries which I've not seen that show, but both actor and actress respectively has a lot of love and passion for their previous works. Now, I will say this, the performances straight away from those two are really good for what they're given. I don't think they're given a lot to work with, but with their experience, they definitely help to try elevate this script that does feel as if it is a first time writer's script. Now, I do know in Bo Mohassini's defense that They've mainly done a lot of music videos and a lot of shorts here or there. So they haven't really had a lot of experience and that does definitely ultimately lead to this movie's downfall. But one other element I will praise in terms of my positives for History of Evil is it's got a cool poster. It's got an okay premise for sure. We've seen this before and the cinematography is nice and at least it looks good, especially as the runtime runs to about an hour and a half, hour 37 minutes or so. But unfortunately, the only positives I have are those mentioned because if I'm going to go into the negatives and why I was not a fan of History of Evil and mainly why I can't really recommend it to you guys, the tones here clash like there's no tomorrow. At one point, it wants to be a horror and it gives you moments where they try to build up tension, they have the loud music, but it fails in those regards. Just to give you an example, there's a moment where Paul Wesley's character is literally lying up in bed after hearing a noise. There's this kind of chain shackle sound that's going on and you see this kind of person in a chain around their leg walking towards him and we get this like really loud music build up suspense going and you're thinking, oh, you know, he's kind of in a you know, very vulnerable state at that point when you're in bed you hear something horrifying and you may be frozen just stiff like you know you can't move your body so you have this loud music you have this person in the chain walking towards him and then it just abruptly ends in the middle of that and cuts to the next day and you get several moments like that where you get the loud music so you get this moment of terror and then it just cuts to the next day then there's moments where this is set in like 2045 or so it doesn't feel like it's set in that time period whatsoever there wasn't really any futuristic about it i think the most futuristic they try to go is the drone and maybe like the infrared on like the drone that's the maximum the boundaries are pushed here and i just felt that was very weak goes for that theme also then there's moments where it wants to go back with the evil past and it wants to go back in time so it's then kind of set and shot in an older period in moment in time which again there's another tonal issue right there and it's just not balanced well at all none of those moments i felt was really believable really sold me into what this premise wanted me as an audience member to be sold within it and I just felt as if this is maybe a script that could have been reworked over, maybe with Ebo Mussolini's first ever time, could have used maybe someone like additionally on the script with them to help them here and really just elevate the cast that they have into maybe given a solid you know, performance on a 
lower streaming service say like should have for example that could have had more exposure that could have had people signing up for their subscription service and this being a movie that would be talked about amongst many people even those who aren't so much into horror and could have brought them over to their platform but unfortunately i don't think history of evil is that movie to bring people over to their platform which was just a shame and ultimately by the end of it i just found myself bored i found myself checking this runtime of an hour and 37 minutes or so which felt like a two and a half hour movie it was that sluggish of a pace which i'm sorry to say but it just wasn't great but hey i could be wrong you guys may love this if you do check it out definitely let me know in the comment section what you thought of a history of evil but if i'm going to give it a score the maximum i can go is between a one and a one and a half out of five unfortunately this one gets the chop and block not great and a one that i definitely don't care to revisit but i do want to thank you guys for taking your own time out to check out this review it really means a lot to me if you haven't subscribed to the channel feel free to press the red button down below completely free for many more early screeners movie reviews and extra content on the channel give it a thumbs up helps the algorithm helps kind of get my channel out there into the ether and maybe you're the first ever time clicking on my channel so i really do appreciate it also i do want to give a quick thank you to all my awesome patrons who helped to really support the channel if you want to join click the link down below in the description box and join today but until the next time that i see you guys Definitely check out more content over here if you've missed it and I'll see you next time.